I've had an email update regarding this thing that I found in the wilds of Billings the other week. Well, I thought it was a whetstone, possibly Roman or Bronze Age. Well, we don't know. I mean, I sent an email off to a Paul Whitehead, who's written something online about ancient whetstones found in Britain over the past 4,000 years. 4,000 years. And he sent a reply back. He, he says... It's a nice part of Lancashire that he once knew fairly well, so he's familiar with the area. Your item is interesting, but hard to diagnose based on what he can see. Yeah. You can't be sure if the rock is sedimentary or fine-grained igneous, such as ash. He assumes it is igneous rock. The piece is seriously old, and I would suggest from the depth of the patination, which is this iron, which is this brown staining which comes from the ground, he says from the depth of the patination perhaps Bronze Age or Neolithic the somewhat biconvex shape leads one to suggest a rubbing stone that might be used against a primitive quern but the fine grain rock would suggest against it the piece may not fall into understood categories although its profile does not match the Neolithic brown the Neolithic ground and polished axes he is tending towards an edge tool that may have been hafted, which means fixed to a handle, like that. For this idea to work, one would need to accept a non-standardised tool. And if you Google Bronze Age abses, you'll probably find some similarities. So, I sp he suspects, genuinely prehistoric and a nice find for this part of the world. So, he seems to think it's a Bronze Age abs. Not an axe, where an axe would be like that to chop. An adze would be at 90 degrees, like that to chop, to do woodwork. Which makes sense, if that's an adze doing woodwork like that, that face would be worked more than this face. If you're hollowing out a boat or something, so it might be an adze used to work like that, fixed to a shaft. So that might be a genuine prehistoric abs head. There you go.